In this video, we take a look at some of the various methods which are available for addressing memory in a computer, including immediate, direct, indirect and indexed addressing. When we get down to low-level languages such as assembly code, we start directly interacting with the contents of memory. There are many different ways of accessing memory locations, known as addressing methods. We will look now at the four different main modes of addressing memory, which you need to be familiar with for the exam. The first is called immediate addressing. With immediate addressing, the value in the address part of the instruction is the actual value to be used. So in effect, if we have the instruction add 10, it actually means add 10 to the accumulator. The next form is direct addressing. In this case, the address part tells us the memory location to go to to find the value. So in effect, the instruction add 10 now means go and find whatever's in memory location 10 and add that to the accumulator. The third one is indirect addressing. With this method, the instruction is the address where we will find the real address of the data we want to use. In other words, if we take our add 10 example again, it means go to memory location 10 and when you get there, you will find another address. Go to this address and read the data there and add it to the accumulator. This is actually very useful as it means we can now access memory addresses which we may be restricted from accessing before due to the limitation of the number of bits available in the address space. The last one is index addressing. Imagine we have the contents of an array of 100 items to be added together. If the first item in the array is in location 10, then the instructions would be add 10, add 11, add 12, and so on and so on. Basically, it's the same instruction 100 times. It's far easier if we use a special register which we call the index register, and we set it to 0 for the first item. We now only have to address the first location, location 10. After that, we simply increment the index register, add one to it, and follow through. So with an index addressing, we only need one instruction that we carry out many times. Here on the left is an abstract representation of the contents of memory. The memory addresses are in the left-hand column, and the contents of each memory location are in the right. If the assembler command LDA008 was received by the control unit, which means load into the accumulator, what would actually end up in the accumulator given the four different addressing methods? Pause the video for a moment and see if you can write down the answers. OK, so how did you do? The first one then, LDA008 with immediate addressing, literally means load 8. You simply take the value here and add it. That's easy. The next one is direct addressing. So we load 008. So we go to position 8 in memory. And in there is the location, is the number 5. So direct addressing should have got 5. The third one uses indirect. So LDA8 takes us to here. We look in memory location 8 and we find a 5. That sends us to address number 5 and the value in there is what's loaded into the accumulator. In this case it was null. The last one uses indexed addressing. And we have to use this special index register now of 0, which we've set to 0, 0, 4. So we've sent to LDA8, so we go to 8. The index register adds 4 to it, 1, 2, 3, 4, we read across and it's 23 that's been added to the accumulator.